What up, y'all? It's Boomer, Mr. Downtown Ray Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. Delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Spa- uh, Facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Netflix is giving a glimpse of Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget. The streaming service shared a teaser trailer for the stop-motion animated film Tuesday. Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget is a sequel to the 2000 film Chicken Nugget, which featured the voices of Julia Swahawaha and Mel Gibson as Chicken's Ginger and Rocky. Danny Newton and Zachary Levy voiced Ginger and Rocky in the new movie, with Bella Ramsey as the pair's daughter Molly. The new teaser shows Ginger, played by Newton, and crew plan and execute a daring break-in at a chicken farm. The voice cast also includes Rasham Raganathan, Daniel Mays, David Bradley, Jane Horrocks, Emilda Staunton, Lynn Ferguson, Josie Sedwick-Davies, and Nick Muhammad. The official description reads, For Ginger and the Flock, all is at stake when the dangers of the human world come home to roost. They'll stop at nothing, even if it means putting their own hard-won freedom at risk to save chicken kind. This time, they're breaking in. Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget is uh, written by Carrie Kilpatrick, John O'Farrell, and Rachel Tunard, and directed by Sam Fell. The film will have its world premiere at the BFI London Film Festival in October and start streaming December 15th on Netflix. Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget Hills from Ardman Animations, the studio behind Wallace and Gromit, and Shaun of the Sheep. Candy Cane Lane, a new holiday film starring Eddie Murphy, is coming to Prime Video. Amazon announced a release date December 1st for the film in a press release Tuesday. Candy Cane Lane marks Murphy's first Christmas movie. The cast also includes Tracy Ellis Ross, Jillian Bell, Ken Marino, Nick Offerman, Raman Thetty, Chris Redd, DC Young Fly, and Angela Johnson Reyes. Murphy plays Chris, a man on a mission to win his neighborhood's annual Christmas home decoration contest. The official synopsis reads, After Chris inadvertently makes a deal with a mischievous elf named Pepper, played by Belle, to better his chances of winning, she casts a magic spell that brings the 12 days of Christmas to life and wreaks havoc on the whole world, on the whole town. At the risk of ruining the holidays for his family, Chris, his wife Carol, played by Ross, and their three children must race against the time to break Pepper's spell, battle deviously magical characters, and save Christmas for everyone. The film was written by Kelly Younger, who was inspired by his own childhood holiday experiences on Candy Cane Lane in El Segundo, California. It's directed by Reginald Hudlin. Hudlin says, I can't wait for the world to see Candy Cane Lane. I wanted to make a Christmas movie my whole life, but I wanted to do something fresh and surprising. Eddie Murphy and the hilarious cast really bring the funny. It's super Christmassy, and it will hit you right in the feet. Murphy's film, Coming to America... Uh, was released on Prime Video in 2021. Now, this is introduced in the new film, Pain Hustlers. The streaming service shared first look photos for the crime drama Tuesday featuring Emily Blunt and Chris Evans. Pain Hustlers is based on the Evan Hughes' book, Pain Hustlers, Crime and Punishment at the Opiate Startup. Wells Tower wrote the script with David Yates as director. The film follows Lisa Drake, played by Blunt, a blue-collar woman struggling to raise her daughter. The character takes a job at a a failing pharmaceutical startup, only to get involved in a dangerous racketeering scheme. Evans plays Xana Therapeutic Sales Rep Peter Bringer, according to Entertainment Weekly. Andy Garcia, Kathleen O'Hara, Jay Duplass, Brian Darcy James, and Chloe Coleman also star. Yates told EW, I've always been fascinated by salespersons and what they do in the moral side of the pharma industry when they're hustling to make money. Pain Hustlers will have its world premiere September 11th at the Toronto International Film Festival and open in selected theaters October 20th. The movie starts streaming October 27th on Netflix.
Universal Pictures is giving a glimpse of the new film The Exorcist Believer. The studio shared a trailer for the horror movie Tuesday featuring Ellen Burstyn and Leslie Oldham Jr. The Exorcist Believer is a sequel to the 1973 film The Exorcist starring Burstyn, Max von Sydow, and Linda Blair. Burstyn reprises her role as Chris McNeil, a mother whose daughter Reagan, played by Blair, was possessed by a demon. Owen plays Victor Fielding, a widower and father who seeks out Chris, played by Burstyn, after his daughter Angela, played by Hewitt, and her friend Catherine, played by Olivia Markham, return home possessed after going missing in the woods for three days. The trailer shows Chris confront evil once again, while being forever altered by what happened to her daughter uh, Reagan five years ago. Uh, five decades ago. Anna Dow, Jennifer Nettles, and Norbert Leo Buzz also star. Uh, the Exodus Believer is written by Peter Sattler and David Gordon Green and directed by Green. Jason Bloom, David Robinson, and James Robinson serve as producers. Universal released a first trailer for the film in July. The movie opens in theaters October 13th. William Franken, who directed the original Exodus, died at the age of 87 in August. The video on demand release date for Barbie has been bumped by one week. Streaming service Viewdo and, and Primazon Video, Prime Video now show the title won't be available until September 12th. The movie was initially listed on the digital streaming service on August 16th with a release date on September 5th. The film is still playing in theaters and will be after its VOD debut. Premium VOD purchase is listed as $29.99. Most movies are available to purchase at a premium for the first few weeks, then lower prices for rental and ownership after several weeks. Barbie recently passed the Super Mario Brothers movie to become the number one movie of the year and the biggest release in Warner Brothers history. That tops even the grosses of, of the, Night, the Dark Knight and the final Harry Potter in 2011. Margot Robbie stars as a Barbie doll who visits the real world. Ryan Gosling plays Ken. The film addresses feminist theories of double standards women face and patriarchy and the standards of and stereotypes Barbie dolls reinforce. The film was produced by Mattel, producers of the toy. Greta Gerwig directed Barbie and co-wrote with Noah Baumbach. The view host Whoopi Goldberg missed the show's season 27 premiere Tuesday due to COVID-19. Co-host Joy Behar informed the audience that Goldberg tested positive for virus and is recovering. Behar says, as you can see, Whoopi's not here. She has COVID. She's on the men. She's on the tail end. And she'll be probably be back this week. But sorry, she's not here. For those of you, for those of you who were looking forward to seeing her. Uh, Behar was joined by co-host Sonny Halstein. Sarah Hines, Allison Farrah Griffin, and Anna Navarro for the premiere. ABC had lined up the few panelists lined up for the 2023-2024 season in August. Goldberg previously missed the uh, Empire. Uh, uh, Goldberg previously missed episodes of The View in January 2022 due to COVID-19, and again in November 2022. Ephesus is gearing up for the release of Welcome to Rexham Season 2. The network shared a teaser for the uh, Season Tuesday featuring Ryan Reynolds and Robert McHaney. Welcome to Rexville follows Reynolds as an actor known for starring in the Darvel Cinematic uh, Movies and McHaney, the creator and star of It's Always Sunny in the U.S. Welcome to Rexville follows Reynolds, an actor known for starring in the Deadpool movies, and McKenney, uh, the creator and star of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia as they run a Rex Hell a a a F F C, a UK soccer team, hail from a working class town in Wales. The new teaser show Reynolds and McKenney take etiquette lessons as they prepare to meet uh, British monarch King Charles III. Charles and Queen Camilla visited Rexham AFC in December. Um, Char uh, Charles and Queen Camilla visited Rexham AF uh, AFX in December. Reynolds and McKenney met the couple during a guided tour of the racetrack ground. 
Season 2 opens in the wake of a painful elimination for the Red Dragons in the playoffs and continues to track the, the combination how do you, uh, as they fight for promotion out of the National League and return to the English Football League. Dedicated staff and supporters hold on to the dream of returning the team and town to glory while embracing for the newfound challenges that family um, has uh, brought to their small community. Welcome to Rexham, Season 2 premieres September 12th on FX, with episodes streaming the next day on Hulu. Netflix is teasing Heartstopper Season 3. The streaming service shared teaser uh, the season Monday by sharing the title of the Season 3 premiere, Love. Netflix tweeted, That's all we call tell we can tell you for now, but we'll be back as Nick and Charlie. The episode is written by Alex Osman, the author of the Heartstopper uh, webcam, graphic novels, and... and uh, and graphic novels that inspire the show. Heartstopper is a teen romantic comedy drama uh, created by Osman. The series follows Nick Nelson, played by Kit Connor, and Jane Spring, played by Joe Locke, a two, cl- two classmates who develop a romance. William Guile, Yasmin Feeney, Karina Brown, Kizzy Edgell, and Toby Donovan also star. Netflix renewed Heartstopper through season three in May of 2022. Osman said at the time, we were overjoyed with the global uh, reaction to the hard stoppers. Um, uh, we, we, have, uh, we were overjoyed with the global reaction to hard stopper and can't wait to continue the story with two more seasons. Watch this space. Hard stopper season two was released in early August. Celebrity couple Kevin Bacon and Kira Sedwick are marrying 35 years of marriage. The 65-year-old actor and 58-year-old actress marked the occasion Monday by dedicating sweet posts to each other on Instagram. Bacon shared a throwback for um, uh, a, Bacon shared a throwback photo that shows Sedwick sitting on top of his lap as she gives him a kiss on the forehead. Uh, he captioned the post 35 years like a heartbeat hashtag anniversary. So it also thro- uh, posted a throwback photo and reflected on how she and Bacon met. She wrote, it was 1987 on the set of Lemon Sky. I met a man named Kevin. Happy 35, my love. Uh, producer Rita Wilson is married to actor Tom Hanks. were among those to congratulate Bacon and Sedwick in the comments. Bacon and Sedwick married in 1988 and have two children, son Travis and daughter Sosie. The couple met on the set of the PBS movie Lemon Sky 1987 and have since collaborated on several projects, including Sedwick's new film, Space Oddity, which features music by the couple's son, Travis. Sedwick told people in March, it's always really easy to direct Kevin because he's brilliant, and Travis has always been my go-to for composing. Passing to report, former Smash Mouth lead singer Steve Harwell has died at the age of 56. Band members confirm Monday. Harwell succumbed to liver failure at his home in Boise, Idaho, where he had been receiving hospice care, the band's manager Robert Hayes told People. Um, The band wrote in a tribute posted on Instagram following his death, Steve Harwell was a true American original, a large-in-life character who shot up into the sky like a Roman candle. Steve should be remembered for his unwavering focus and impassioned determination to reach the heights of pop superstardom. They wrote, and the fact that he achieved this near impossible goal with very limited musical experience makes him his accomplishments all the more remarkable. His only tools were his irreplaceable charm and, chariz- and charisma, his fiercely reckless ambition, and his king-sized cojones. The vocalist and frontman had been unwell for some time. 
TMZ said Harwell, who was born in Santa Clara, California, had long abused alcohol and had been diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, heart failure, and wernic and encephalopathy. He had recently been in the final stage of liver failure. Smash Mouth was formed in San Jose, California, and was known for the early 2000s hits All Star and I'm a Believer, with Harwell's signature raspy voice taking center stage. In his debut single, Walking on a Sun from 1997's Fushu Mang, achieved widespread success in the United States. The new band has continued to perform with new vocalist Zach Good since Harwell retired abruptly in 2021. His last show came in October 2021 in Bethel, New York, where he appeared inebriated, forgetting the lyrics to songs. Harwell survived by fiancé Annette Jones, sister Carla Crooker, Michelle Baroni, and Julie Harwell, as well as his brother Mark. He was 56. Tens of thousands of attendees stranded at this weekend's Rain Silk Burning Man Music and Cultural Festival in North Nevada began their exodus Monday as conditions improve. As the roads into and out of Burning Man in the Black Rock Desert reopen after closing over the weekend due to heavy rainfall and mud, organizers were asked many of the 72,000 filigores to stick around until Tuesday to ease traffic. Um, exodus is planned to officially begin around Midday Monday, uh, in a statement on Monday, consider delays in your in in your department from the Black Rock City until Tuesday, September fifth. This will alleviate large amounts of congestion throughout the last day. Uh, Washington Shoe, uh, Sheriff wrote in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, the exodus of seventy two thousand participants in from Burning Man. 2023 is anticipated to begin today at noon. Visitors will be returning to their homes both locally and in far-reaching locations using various modes of transportation, including vehicles and planes. Heavy rains Friday and Saturday prompted shelter-in-places orders at the Mass Campout, which ran from August 27th to September 4th in the Black Rock Desert. The desert receives two or more months' worth of rain in a 24 period, according to uh, event officials who said the dry, hard ground was unable to absorb water, creating runoffs and mud flows. Organizers also indicated business uh, buses who have been provided to take the attendees who chose to walk off the playa uh, to Reno, although they were advised to check recommendations on when walking is visible or not. And finally, rapper, actor, and music producer Sean Diddy Combs will be honored at the 2023 MTV Video Music Awards. MTV announced Tuesday that Combs will receive the Global Icon Award at the award show in September. The Global Icon Award was originally bestowed at the MTV Europe Music Awards, and celebrities and artists or band whose unparalleled character, uh, career, and continued influence have achieved a unique level of global success in music and beyond. Previous recipients include the Royal, uh, Hot, the Red Hot Chili Peppers and the Food Fighters. Combs will also be performing at the VMAs along with Demi Lovato, Carol G, Doja Cat, Anita, Chelsea Ballerini, the K-pop group Stray Cats, and TXT, and other artists. This year, the rapper is nominated for four... Um, the, the rapper is nominated for four um, awards at this year's ceremony, including Best Rap and Best R&B. Combs will release the Love album, Off the Grid, his first solo album in, since 2006, on Press Play on September 15th. The MTV VMAs will take place September 12th at the Prudential Center in Newark and air 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on MTV. Shakira will be performing and receiving the Video Vanguard Award. And that is the Entertainment Report for Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some of the major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report. With Ray Mello, that's R A Y M E L O. On uh, you can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report 
anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.